Welcome to this mini-series on inflammatory conditions of the prostate. Later in this video, I am going to explain to you how you could unintentionally put your life at risk by performing prostate massage in a certain situation. So keep watching this video because it may save you from misery one day. My name is Stefan Buntrock. I'm a board-certified urologist and sexologist. If you don't want to miss the upcoming videos on prostate inflammation and prostate massage, please subscribe to your channel and give the video a thumbs up. Thank you. Prostate inflammation is called prostatitis. Prostatitis has various manifestations leading to the existence of a classification system with four categories. Category one is acute bacterial prostatitis. This is when pathogens get a chance to climb up the urethra and settle inside the prostate. The prostate is a gland, composed of thousands of tiny small glands, which is the perfect environment for bacteria and also viruses to hide and multiply. Acute bacterial prostatitis has a very sudden onset. It comes like that, like you feel fine and the next moment you are really sick. There is fever, pain somewhere in the bladder region and deep inside the lower abdomen that's usually hard to locate. Of note, these are rather unspecific symptoms that can also be observed with acute appendicitis or diverticulitis, etc. But a major urge to urinate is more specific. Urination is often painful and despite knowing that your bladder is empty, you may still feel the urge to use the bathroom to alleviate the discomfort. You may also have an urge to defecate at the same time. Acute bacterial prostatitis is a urological emergency and has to be diagnosed and treated at once. In severe cases, you will have to be treated in hospital with intravenous antibiotics, but many times oral antibiotics and rest at home will be enough. Now, here's the thing with prostate massage. In acute bacterial prostatitis, the prostate is full of bacteria. Every attempt to massage the organ will increase the likelihood for spreading the bacteria into the bloodstream quite dramatically. For the doctor, it is okay to palpate the prostate briefly for diagnostic purposes. But in this situation, one should never massage the organ for diagnostic purposes like a two or four glass test. The same applies to you. Acute bacterial prostatitis is one of the few situations where the prostate is swollen because, you know, inflammation causes edema. That's just part of the deal. This may be so severe that you will be unable to pass urine, resulting in acute urinary retention. Plus, in severe cases, an abscess may form, resulting in even more compression on the urethra. If you massage your prostate now, it's like a ticking bomb. All those bacteria will get into your bloodstream and they just love that. They replicate lightning fast and before you can count to three, you are going into a sepsis. This is a life-threatening condition because if left untreated, it will result in what we call a septic shock. Multiple organs will fail to work and this will be fatal. Sepsis is the second most common cause of death in intensive care units and the 10th overall cause of death in high-income countries. In the US, there has been an annual increase of 9% per year over the last decades. So this is something you want to avoid, especially because of the ever-increasing rate of multi-resistant germs, accounting for 4.95 million deaths worldwide in the year 2019 alone. So. Is there anything you can do to protect yourself from acute bacterial prostatitis? It depends. If you have to undergo transrectal prostate biopsy, the risk is significantly increased. So you will have to bring that down with preoperative antibiotics. If you perform catheterization of the bladder due to various health conditions, this will also increase your risk. Urinary tract infection is definitely a risk as the infection may spread to the prostate but also to the testicles and epididymis. Unprotected sex, especially unprotected anal sex, is a risk factor. And this is also because sexually transmitted infections likewise threaten prostate health. As I said, the mainstay of treatment is antibiotics 
and they have to be given for a prolonged period of time because there is a risk for chronification if the treatment interval was too short. So if you experience any of those symptoms I just outlined, you will have to see a urologist immediately. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.